Hello friends, in this video we will control a servo motor using Arduino Uno. You can use other for this purpose we need a servo motor, we need an Arduino Uno board or you can use other versions of Arduino and three mail to mail jumper wires. You can buy these components from any online stores or you can buy these components from our website at the base price. The link and the components list is given in the description of this video. Here we are using Micro Servo SZ90. So it has three wires. The brown wires, that, that this one is ground. That means we have to connect it to our ground pin of Arduino. The middle red one is VCC pin. We have to connect it to our 5 volt pin of Arduino. And the orange wire is the signal wire. We have to connect this signal wire to any PWM pin of the microcontroller. So we will connect this orange wire to our digital pin 9 of the Arduino. First we will connect this brown wire that means the ground. So we will connect it to any ground pin of Arduino. Then we will connect the middle wire that is the VCC wire. So we will connect the other terminal of this wire to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Then we have to connect this signal wire. That is, we have to connect it to any PWM pin of Arduino. So we will connect it to pin number 9 of Arduino. So our connection is now ready. Now we will move to the code. Here is our code. First, we have to define the servo.h library for the servo motor. Then we have defined a servo object that is my servo1 for our servo motor. Then in the void setup, we have to define the pin number that is my servo.attach9. That means we have attached our servo to pin number 9 of the Arduino. Then in the void loop section, we first write my servo.write0. That means the servo motor will come to its initial position that is to 0 degree. Then it will wait for 2 seconds that is delay 2000. Then the servo will rotate to 180 degree. That's why we have written my servo dot write 180. You can sense the degree of rotation according to your requirement. Then the servo will again wait for 2 seconds that is delay 2000. Then since it is in the void loop section, the program will run again and again. That means the servo will run from 0 degree to 180 degree continuously. So let us upload this code. Now we can see that the servo is rotating from 0 degree to 180 degree continuously. You can sense the degree of rotation according to your requirement. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also buy electronics, components, projects, sensors, boards, modules from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com. Thank you.